Welcome back. And I know you have been bombarded with many emails requests to provide this and that. Be patient and march on. It is the only way that we will get to the finish line. And I can assure you, we're almost there. By now, you should receive the title commitment document along with various forms from the title company for you to fill out. These forms are essential part of the closing. If you are unsure, we are here to help or getting the right answer if needed. Now the title commitment, in a nutshell, the title company main responsibility is to make sure that the owner owns the property and has the right to sell it. They are going to do their best to find out all the recorded lien on the property, verifying the seller marital status, if there are any spouses or inheritor who has the right to this property so that they can give the buyer a clean title that no one else can dispute. The title commitment is the result of that title search that the title company is performing. The title commitment share any potential issue as well as disclosing encumbrances on the title that the buyer cannot get away from, like deed restrictions, easement, or leases. Usually the title commitment can be furnished within a week or so of the title company getting the executed contract. If you discover issue that the seller cannot resolve, the contract specifies a certain number of days that the buyer can terminate the contract and get the earnest money back. The title commitment has four parts, Schedule A, B, C, and D. Schedule A is the actual fact of the transaction which include the legal descriptions of the subject property, the buyer's name, the seller's name, as well as the amount of coverage for the property. Schedule B is the buyer notification. This is for your information section, where the title company advises you of all the encumbrances on the property or items that are not searching for or not responsible for. These things you cannot change as a buyer. For example, deed restriction, tax jurisdiction, HOA, recorded easement, lease, mineral right. Schedule C is a list of clear to close items. This is a to-do list that everything that the seller needs to clear prior to closing, such as existing lien, court order, the seller mortgage will appear here as well. Many items listed here are normal part of the transaction, but check for the red flag item that could potentially cause closing delay. For example, CD tax lien, IRS lien, second mortgage, mechanical liens, and so on. Schedule D is the required disclosure any related party and the amount that are being paid from the closing toward both the owner and the lender title policy. Wow. That is a lot of things to take in, but don't worry. These are for your information. My team and I always pay attention to these items and communicate any potential issue or delay to you accordingly. Until next time, have a great day.